Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world and the second part of um, creating this signature for my uh, foliage junk journal. We did the first part in the last uh, video where we created like the waterfall pages and this little pocket and so now <coughs> we're gonna carry on and uh, uh, add some add some more detail to it so um when i left last time i said i would finish uh inking up the corners the edges of my my pieces there uh, <clears throat> the the center uh piece here the here the, the the binding isn't quite as pretty as i would like it so I've got this nice green washi tape, which I thought I would just use, and that would uh, that would kind of reinforce that as well as uh, make it look pretty. So um, I'm, I'm adding that now, and I think that just makes it a little bit prettier. And I shall probably be doing something to the outside of the spine um, when 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 I when I get to that. So um, I have I've got this lovely pocket here which I hadn't stuck down last time because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. So I did search through some papers and I came across this one. It's very, it's interesting on both sides, actually. But I want, I thought I would go with this one because it's got the majority of the green. And I thought I could pop that there. As luck would have it, it's actually eight by eight. I don't know how that, how that came to be, but it's eight by eight. So I just want to be able to tuck it behind here. I think I need, to, if I cut the piece like three and a half that no i'm going to cut it to four and then that will go under the join will go underneath so i want to use this side it's got that lovely um curly whirly effect so what did i say i needed to do i need to write these things down don't i four yep so we need four inches i'm going to cut it slightly bigger because then I can just trim this edge. Well, I'm not sure if I want to trim that edge now. Um, I'm going to just put a little bit, although it actually is kind of already sort of inked without me needing to do that. So I'm going to put that there like that. That will close down. And then that will look lovely, she says optimistically. So I'm just going to use some liquid here. There we go. Right. So when I also went and sorted out some um, interesting stamps. Oh, 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 that has slid underneath there and I didn't want it to. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it'd be easy to butt up against it, but that tape is wanting to lift. There. I think we've got it now. Okay. And so we can pop that 
looks like we might need to just do a tinsy a tinsy little trim there so i like to keep my videos to about 30 minutes so that's why i didn't sort of carry on and to be honest with you before i kind of needed to have a little bit of a think about what i wanted to do next so i didn't want to just go tearing along um to uh decorate this when i was still working through some thoughts so it's just as well um, it allowed me to sort of clear the 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 mess that i'd made creating the actual folder um and to pick out some other papers and embellishments to work on the work on the design so this one i'm doing slightly different than i did from my other junk journal because then i just created pages and then i went back and decorated them afterwards and this time i'm kind of creating my pages and and doing some of the decoration at the same time um not i might i'm not all of it because i think that i'll probably want to add some more um ah, i know what i thought i would do here i've got a stamp that looks like a stitch and i thought that maybe what i could do is make it look like i've stitched those pieces there so let's get some ink i've got some brown ink here and i can pop that along cross like that oh that looks good i don't actually oh i don't actually have a sewing machine that I could use for paper at the moment, but maybe I will invest in, find something that is kind of just like, maybe like a kiddies sewing machine that I could use. That would, um, that I wouldn't mind using on paper because I wouldn't want to use my proper sewing machine on paper right so that's that now then if i got a piece of scrap i do what i could do is put some a stamp across here to make it look like i stitched that <laughs> oh gosh liking this There we go. I'm going to move that out of the way before I get ink on everything. So that's that's looking and I'll probably put some bits in there. I'm going to come a bit closer so you can see. So I'll be putting some some pieces in there the next thing i've got is this piece i wonder could i be clever enough to make that look like it's stitched as well of course let's see i got some of this post-it note stuff so maybe i could put put some of that But didn't I say if I if I wanted it to look like it was stitched on, I'd want it to go like that 
add a bit like that, wouldn't I? So let me just get this back. And whatever I did with my ink. Like that. And like that. Well, that's looking a bit better. Now I've got a gap there I need to do something with. I've got something, what have I got that I can put in there? So I sorted out some bits and pieces here. I got some stickies. These are probably a bit too big. There's a piece there, but yeah, that's going to cover up some pretties. What about that? Nope. I got this. This was in a in something, um, and I thought, well, they're, they're good pieces, so. I'm going to keep those. Ah, just a sec. One of these might be nice. Let's move this out the way. Oh, look at that with a little picket fence. Now, I don't know about these. I've not used them before. So let's see what we've got. Do they, do they come off? No. I think what I have to do is I have to cut around them. I'm not going to cut it out because it's got clear bits, so it shouldn't need cutting out. Right. But maybe just cutting close to... Right, what about that? Now then, has this got sticky on it? Let's see. Where's my little fancy mat? I don't know where that is. But... I wonder if that's got, if that's got sticky on it. think it has. I wonder how that goes on then. Mm. Mm. That just shows you to using something brand new when you're um, when you're on camera. You don't know how it works and I can't remember where I put my little fancy mat that I got that um, shows me uh, that helps me do that but I'll have to come back to that if I get some if we've got time at the end I'll come back to that one because I think that would look really pretty just there Okay, right, so let's do something with our front cover. So I got another piece of paper here, like this, which I thought would also go nice on here. Oh, I wonder what that says. Hmm, but I don't, it's not big enough to do like that. Maybe I could put another piece of something down there. Maybe we could put this there. 
and pop that on top or like that or just like that right now then if i stick that there it needs something on it and i've got these look at these i got these nice stamps that have got fern on them and i wonder if this ink will show up Well, I could do a couple of bits on there and then use maybe a darker ink. So that's that one. So let's use another ink. Mm Oh, that's better. And maybe I'll have to use this one. Where did I do the other one? There we are. See if I like this colour. Oh, not too bad. Okay, so we've used some ink. Use that right now, then. So, about what five and three eighths. So five, five and three eighths. That could go like that. Right, I will put the I will put the other fold in in a minute. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, I'm terrible. I tied it up, you know, and then I can't find anything. Let's see. use some of this and I'm not I don't know why I just picked this up to use it I just have um, so because it was handy and I'm just going to put some liquid on the edge like that
and a little bit of squidgy round. Now then, let's make sure I put this the right way round. Okay. I suppose if I hadn't put that piece on there, I could have folded that round the corner, but we're done now, so we can't can't go back. Now then. That just needs to come up a little. Let's fold that up from there. And now I think I'm going to put some of this tape on the spine. And I'm just thinking this as I go along. I'm not really following any kind of pattern or instructions or anything. I'm just working, thinking through how I want this to be. And hopefully it will. It will work. Right. Now then, I had a thought to use one of the scraps from the front and it was here and here it is. I was thinking about using this as a pocket like that. And this is going to go, you need to make sure that fold is in there now because I was really rigorous about putting that other fold in. So I could leave it like that and I could put a pocket there. And let's put a little finger hole in there to show that it is a pocket. Just put a little bit of ink there. So if I do if I do a pocket like that, and then maybe right, what I could do now, that's why I haven't stuck this down because I'm still thinking about Stamping here. Like 
that. Put some ink on my workbench there. So that's that. Then um, we could use this one with, where did that ink go? You know, I get so much more done in a day if I didn't look, keep, have to keep looking for things that were right under my nose. Because I quite liked this colour. <laughs> oh Lord, Let's see. Oh, in that case. Not a whole nutcase, just half a nutcase. Because I haven't got much of a working space here, so it's got to be somewhere nearby, hasn't it? And I think I'll fill some of that in. It's not the best stamping in the world, but I can fill some of that in with other things. So if I now put when I put my pocket down, I can put some other stuff there. So let's just put some adhesive on here. How long have we been going? 27? Good oh Lord, that time doesn't off pass fast. Ew. There's a dead one. So what we'll do is we will put the pocket on and call that and call that a, um, a wrap as it were and um, I will do some more decorating on it when um, I have finished, when I've got it all sewn together. But the main thing is I've got all the sort of construction done and some of the little bit of the macro, that's what we call it, macro decoration, the big decoration. And so the last little bits um, will be our micro decoration. Oh. Managed to separate the two pieces there. We just put a little bit of adhesive and then that solves that problem. So. There we go. And we're going to put some of this on.
I'm just going to pop that there. And then we'll be able to add a tag or something in there. And let's see. some some of my um, sticky stickers the nice ones that I know are on the background you know next time I, you see I've got everything out in case I needed anything so I didn't have to keep traipsing off to find stuff only um it hasn't really worked out that way. You know, I was looking at these the other day. I've There's like insects. I can use insects on foliage, can't I? So this is, a, this is like a little dragonfly there. I can pop him like, like he's on a reed. There. That would work. I'm going to try and not use the flowers since I didn't want to do a floral one. I wanted to do an all a sort of a foliage one. There's another. There's another one there. Um, oh, here's another one. Let's do this one. It's another dragonfly. Get it started and then gently peel it off. There we go. So we could have another dragonfly coming down there like that. And when I can find my other sticky stickers, which are here, I know they're here. I mean, I've got some of these. But these are a bit on the bright, pale side. I'll use those on another page. Um, anyway, so we've been going, what, 33 minutes now. So I am going to call that done for now. So we've, we've got our front page. So we'll be decorating that with something at some point, I'm sure. Then inside we've got our, a pocket and then we've got our waterfall pages which have looked like they've been stitched in like that and a pocket looking like it's been stitched in and I'm guessing what I ought to do is make this look like it's been stitched in as well. So maybe I'll just quickly do that. Hopefully I won't mess it up by brushing. Um, and then we've I've got my third signature for this particular junk journal. I'm not quite sure how many I'm going to do um, because I'm try going to try a different binding method. Um, I'm going to as something I found, an idea I found online, and um, I thought, you know, that would be a really interesting thing to do. So I'm going to um, each of these um, signatures are actually going to be sewn in separately. So, um, it's that they're not going to be, I'm not going to be sort of stacking them inside of one another. I'm going to be sewing them in individually. Um, and uh, 
I could do that on a video. And uh, I haven't ever done it before, so it, you know, it will be a, a new thing. Okay, so there we go. We've got our front and our back of our folder with some faux stitching, waterfall pages and pockets. And then that's all ready to go with the other two. So there's one and then the other one is here somewhere. Here it is. So, as I say, they eventually will be in between the covers like that and uh, looking good. So there we go. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed it, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Uh, any comments or questions you can pop below. And uh, thank you very much for choosing to spend some time with me today. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.